sassy. So, um, before I get on with this video, I just want to let you guys know that I actually made a personal YouTube account that you should go subscribe to. Um, I'm just posting like random videos and I posted it actually like a makeup video the other day so I'm just going to be posting whatever you guys want to see so leave comments down below as well of other random weird anything videos you want to see. Okay so now the actual video. This is slow fat. No. How to get fast results. Okay. That sounds stupid. How to get fast results. I forgot. Wait, no. mm, that doesn't sound right. Hacking. How to get fast results by making slow changes. Bam! There we go. You, you, you. <laughs> pat on the back. Ooh, yeah. So this video is all about um, mostly weight loss, but like how to get the fastest results with one, still being healthy, and two, just making slow changes. A lot of people go from extreme to another extreme, meaning that someone who's overweight or needs or wants to lose a couple pounds um, and eats unhealthy and barely works out and things like that, that person is kind of like extreme in that way, and then they just one day go to the opposite extreme which is eating completely clean and exercising a ton and just like being all healthy and blah 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 like you can't do that it's not gonna last you might feel good for a couple days you'll be like okay i'm doing good i'm doing healthy like whatever but i'm doing healthy that didn't make sense i'm stupid okay um but you just gotta make slow changes and Honestly, you'll think that you're making progress so slow because you're making like little tiny changes But you will make the fastest progress because you won't go back to the way you were because you'll force yourself to get in the habit of being healthy slowly I don't really make sense. Let me explain a little bit. Let's say someone has every night for dinner or for like a dessert thing or something. They have a bowl of ice cream with three scoops in it and two Oreos and a soda. Let's just say that. That's very unhealthy. But you can't go from just doing that to like not eating that at all. So say that you want to start being healthy and you know you want to make the change then instead of going from eating all that every night to not eating it at all to try and be healthy like you're gonna start craving it. after a couple days you're just gonna be like I need that and then you're not only gonna have that you're gonna have like 30 times I said that 30 30 30 30 times the amount that you would normally eat every night you'd like instead of just taking a step forward being healthy and then like going back to the way you were no you're gonna be taking like seven steps back and be like worse than you were. And then you're gonna get sad and just be like, why did I do that? And like, get really mad at yourself. So you can't be doing that because it's not gonna last, you're gonna break. Like, you're not gonna be able to do it. I'm just saying, like I know that people say you can do whatever you set your mind to. That's true, but you can't go from one extreme to the other without like taking little steps in between. So the way you can actually get through this is by, instead of having three scoops of ice cream, have two. Just the next day, you know, when you're trying to like, be healthy, have two scoops of ice cream, have a soda still, and what did I say, two Oreos? Have the rest, but just lessen like by one scoop, so just have two scoops. Okay, you'll still be like, this is really unhealthy, which it is, but you're going to slowly make a change. So for a day or two, do that, and then the third day you know, don't have the Oreos. Just have a soda and two scoops of ice cream. And yeah, and then the fourth day, or take like a couple days to do each step because it really is a slow process and believe it or not, it will bring you fast results. Like you don't notice right away. Like nothing will come just like that and last. That's what I want to get in your brains right now is that yes, you could get very fast results doing something unhealthy or going from one extreme to the other. 
could give you very fast results, but they will not last at all. And this will give you kind of the same results, but one, your mindset will be different. You will actually feel better because you won't be restricting yourself. You won't feel like you're on a diet. You'll just feel like, okay, you know, this is like I'm cutting back a little bit at a time and it'll feel good for yourself. And like, then you'll get in a habit so that this will become your lifestyle and how you like normally eat. Or you could do this with exercise too if you've never exercised a day in your life and you just like all of a sudden start running like seven miles a day and doing a bunch of weightlifting, like that's not gonna last. You're gonna, like most people that don't exercise, it's because they don't like it. Like, I mean, I exercise, yes, to be fit and healthy and I wanna gain muscle and things like that, but also like I enjoy it. Even before I was serious about fitness, I just liked, I liked exercising. I like being active and stuff. And so if you don't enjoy being active and you force yourself to be like super extremely active all of a sudden, it's not gonna like, last and one day you're just gonna be like I'm lazy now I like and then if you're not exercising you won't feel like eating right and it's just gonna be a bad cycle and then you're gonna get mad at yourself and that's not good I don't want y'all to be sad just wanted to get the point across that like things that last and goals you have especially when it comes to health and fitness they take time for the best kind of results you know like there's been times where I haven't eaten enough, like either for a whole week or just for a day, you know, and you don't eat enough. And that, like one, I'm tired, like super tired, like all I want to do is sleep. I don't feel like working out when I'm tired, like that's not going to happen. So that's already bad because, you know, eating good and working out, they kind of go hand in hand together. and. You know, I, I enjoy exercise, so that's why it's like, oh, I don't even want to, like, that's bad. And I get, like, more emotional and, like, mad and sad, like, if I'm hungry or I'm not eating enough, you don't want to mess with me. Like, it's not, mm -mm, I'm, I'm mean, I'm a horrible person when I'm hungry or tired, especially when I'm both, like, that doesn't go well together. And that's what'll happen to you if you just, automatically you're eating like 3,000 calories a day and you're like overweight or something which that doesn't always mean you're overweight because there's some people that work out like a ton and they need those amount of calories but say you're like average person and you're eating that much and you're like overweight whatever you can't go from that to eating 1500 a day that's cutting half your calories that like your body's not used to that it won't react well you're gonna be you're just gonna go like mentally you're not gonna be that stable you might you might also get like dizzy and stuff because you're not like used to just having that least amount of calories and you know you can't just do things like that fast that just doesn't work you gotta go slowly down eat 26 that 26,000 calories nobody eat that much please please 2600 calories if you're eating say 3,000 I don't know anyone that eats that much. I don't know why I said that, but just ignore me. Um, but still listen to me. That didn't make sense. I'm just confusing in this video. So, you know, go slowly and then go down to 2400 the next day. And maybe after a couple days, go down to 2000. And just cut it like little by little. Not, don't cut out like 700 calories all of a sudden. That's not going to work well with your body. It's just not used to it and your body's gonna get tired and not like be able to function right and oh okay this video is probably not what like most people that want to lose weight want to hear is that you just need to slowly do it like they just want like fast results like that they want to be freaking like bikini body ready in a week if you're overweight or you're trying to lose weight or you're not like happy with your body or things like that I don't know but it's not gonna happen in that short amount of time and if it does then you're doing something wrong you're being very unhealthy with it and it's not gonna last and you're gonna be unhappy even more so in like a couple weeks or months when that doesn't work anymore when whatever you're doing doesn't work you gotta just take things slow and results will come if you work hard and you have some self-control which is very hard to have sometimes when it comes to food 
like let me know in the comments if you're like that because I'm like that so I I understand you I get you when it comes to food if something's on the table right in front of me even if I don't really like it if it's not that good I'm like eh, like I wouldn't pick to have it but since it's there I'm gonna eat it like it's gonna happen you know so um yeah let me know if you're the same way cuz I get you yeah so just like make slow changes and the best results will come and you'll actually be healthier and happier and it'll just become like a natural thing and it won't be like you're on a diet or you're you know restricting yourself that's another thing do not restrict yourself if you're really craving something like obviously try not to have it all the time have just check your portions you know have just a tiny bit if so if you enjoyed this video or it helped you in any way shape or form don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel and my personal one that I will be posting random videos on. Yee, I'm excited. And um, any video requests you have, anything you want to say to me, leave it down below. I will see you guys next time, hopefully within a week or so when I make another video. Hey, that ride, I'm cool. Okay, so I will see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed. Give this video a thumbs up and bye. like results in I mean okay uh. <laughs> that was fun. okay so I will see you guys that diet <laughs> my windows open and people are looking at me <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying